Hello everybody and welcome back to more Reader Rabbit's Interactive Math Journey. We are continuing our epic, legendary quest to figure out what math can be used for in the practical world. We have covered patterns and shapes, addition and subtraction, measurement, and fractions with division. But now, we're on the final math concept, multiplication. It's also the part of the game where I don't remember exactly what the worlds are, what the minigames are, or what to do. So, we're basically diving in World 5 blind together. Let's all go off. We're off to the land of jitterbug multiplication. What the heck is jitterbug multiplication? Uh, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to actually say something when we get here. Uh... Pretty sure they're supposed to say something when we get here. Is it because I didn't quit the game out in between episodes? All right, well, let's fix that, shall we? A theater? I'm sure I'll find a math magician here. Well, you better look before you leapfrog. <laughs> All right, that's better. Okay, where the heck are we? <laughs> they got these palm trees, this little straw hut. I got a frog here. What's up with you? Hey. Wow, the frog didn't even make a splash. I need a big break. <laughs> no splash, Captain. You want a splash, Mr. Starkey? I'll give you a splash. <laughs> All right, no, no splash here. Well, this is a rather, um... Where's the music? There's normally at least a little music when you join the world. All right, let's see what the math song is all about. Oh, dang. If you got three, and you need three more, then you got six, but you need three more. Then you got nine, but you need three more. Then you got 12, that's three times four. Well, you could add, but adding takes so long. And though it's sad, you might get it wrong. So adding and adding and adding and adding is driving you out of your mind. Try out multiplication, it'll save you a lot of time. Dang, short but sweet. I really like that song. That's actually a very good song about multiplication. Holy cow. <laughs> the bugs are an epic band. Holy cow. That was that was actually really well done. Like Mad props to that song. It was catchy and short, sweet, to the point. Very informative. I like that. All right, let's see. Again, I don't know what this world is, but apparently... I can't tell... I think we're on a tropical island of some kind. That must be it. Let's see what this math book story a is all about. A gardening frog named Florina was also a fine ballerina. She danced with great ease, throwing seeds to the breeze, creating a floral arena. To help me plant the flowers, click on the arrow and turn the page. What's her accent? I don't recognize that accent. Also, it looked like it said Florida for a while, where it's like, oh, we're in Florida. I mean, we could be in Florida, potentially. To help me plant the flowers. All right, I'll help you plant the flowers, lady. Just stop staring Florina at me like that. Florina has flowers to plant with a cool mathematical slant. She'll plant four at a time into three even lines. See if she can or she can't. Click on the flowers, then drag them to the planter box. Okay. This is new Click to me. Click on the flowers. Oh, oh, so it's not individual flowers, it's the group of four. So you have one group of four flowers, so that's four flowers. Two groups of four flowers, two times four, that's eight. Three groups, groups of four flowers, three times four, that's twelve. That's it! Turn the page! So, for those of you who don't really know what multiplication is, you can kind of get the little idea now. We've got three rows of four flowers. How many flowers do we have? We could do four plus four plus four, or three plus three plus three plus three, or we could do three times four. All of those give us the same answer, twelve. Now that her garden is growing, her talents can really start showing. In groupings of three, how nice it will be. Come on, please help her get going. Why can't she do this herself? Why Why is this world filled with incompetent adults that don't know how to do basic things? Like math. <laughs> Did they not go to school? Actually, they may not have gone to school. All right, we'll help them out. 
They didn't play Reader Rabbit's interactive math journey, clearly. That's it! Turn the page! Why do you just have that creepy smile? Also, looking at a frog, looking at a bipedal frog that's just staring right at us is, is kind of creepy, I'll be honest. Like, just like, hmm, I'm watching you sleep. Oh, all right, whatever. This long flower bed must have room for 12 flower blossoms to bloom. Planting six in each row, you can watch them all grow as they give off their fragrant perfume. So is, is this frog, the frog being a ballerina, is that going to play like any role in this world or is that just like, oh, she's not a one dimensional character. Look, she has depth. She has, she has aspirations to be a professional dancer on Broadway. It's like, all right, well, I mean, that does definitely add some depth to the character, but does it add depth to the story? Probably not. Click on the I know, Florina. The only other Florina I have actually heard of is in Fire Emblem 7. Okay, we'll turn the page. Now that the planting is through, we'll divide up the flowers in two. For helping Florina, we'll split them between you and give six of these flowers to you. So now we're kind of going back to division. This is weird, because normally you would learn multiplication before dealing with fractions. It's generally first you learn addition, then subtraction, then multiplication, then division. And division and fractions go hand in hand. It's an interesting order that they chose to go in, but hey, I didn't make the game, so... I, I, I'm cool with that. Do I have to accept the flowers if they've touched your ton? I'd kind of rather not. <laughs> who knows where the frog saliva has been? Like, who knows what that frog has licked? <laughs> that frog has definitely gone swimming in that stagnant pond. I don't want that. All right, when we get home, we're gonna we're gonna wash those flowers well <laughs> before we actually, you know, start sniffing them. All right, what's what's coming next? What the heck? Welcome to today's show, starring Florina. Oh, this Which is what. Bugs do you want for this dance number? When the total number of bug legs on stage equals a number on a chair, click on the chair. To start, click on the bug you want and drag it onto the stage. Oh, this is weird. I don't remember this at all. Okay, so the frog being a ballerina does actually play a role in the story. Oh, the, the deep lore actually is tying together. Okay, this is interesting. So the number of bug feet has to match the number of seats? To start with. Oh. Then drag it onto the stage. Do it again and again, and watch okay, the well, visions change. Okay, well, this bug has two feet. All right. Two times one. Fill up all seats in the audience to start the show. Okay, this is very, um... <clears throat> Very interesting. <laughs> it's like, I'm not going to watch the show unless there's a there are two bug feet on stage. It's like, what if there was three bug feet? Nope, I'm out. I'm not. I'm, I'm leaving. It's like, what? <laughs> this, what? This seems very strange. Oh, hey, you've got four legs. Or four feet, I'm sorry. Oh, I want to see the dancing spider. Okay, weird. We got another audience member. Uh, someone wants 10 bug feet. All right. There, there's 10 bug feet. Oh, yeah, and it shows 5 times 2 or 5 plus 5. So we know 5 plus 5 equals 10. 5 times 2 will also equal 10. Boom. We actually have to do math. It's not doing it for us no more. <laughs> the cat's like, meow, that was really great. And then there's another guy who's like, I'm not watching the show unless you can get free spiders to do that. Okay, we'll get free spiders to do that. <laughs> that show looks exactly like the last two shows, just there are more. <laughs> yeah, but it's way better now. <laughs> well, that show kind of sucked. Let's see if you can get... 
four spiders on dancing on stage. Oh, just you watch. Wasn't this supposed to be like Florina's grand debut? Like, wh where is she? Why ain't she on stage? Five plus five plus five plus five, or five times four, twenty. There's, there's now twenty bug feet on stage. The, the ram is like, okay, I guess I'm there's impressed. There's a big crowd tonight. Break a frog's leg. That was yeah. Perfect. Oh, now Florian is gonna dance. Now it's showtime. Oh, so we're just putting bugs on stage to lure Flowers people into the audience and be like, surprise! It's actually a dancing frog in a weird costume, and they're like, oh. Click on the chairs for a musical <laughs> It's like, it's like, um, Click The Muppets Most Wanted, where they're, like, paying show. the audiences to have a sold-out house for the Muppets. <laughs> That's basically what they're doing. False advertising, alright. We gotta put on another show now. And this time we actually need to use different bugs. Okay, we'll just put the grasshopper on stage again. The rabbit's like, oh boy, the grasshopper's back. Hooray. Ooh, let's get free caterpillars on stage. Because, you know, free caterpillars times free legs equals nine. <laughs> and that rabbit wants nine bug legs. I gotta be honest, this isn't as cool of a world as the last one. I mean, between bug feet dancing on stage and, like, cutting pizzas to serve the opera scene in Italian cats, clearly one, one of those is a clear winner. Oh, look, we need the number 20. <laughs> And a number 15. <laughs> we have 20 bug feet on stage. I only wanted 15 bug feet on stage. <laughs> what, what, what the heck? That moth is never going to get to perform. I'm as, the audience is just like, we're seeing the exact same spiders doing this weird dance over and over again. Alright. Oh, these are also spiders. Well, four feet times four equals twelve. I think there are too many bug legs on stage. Oh yeah, that's sixteen. I can't math. There's a big crowd tonight. Break a frog's leg. And now, for a riveting performance... Oh, wow. Ballerina, the Prima Ballerina! I still don't know what country this is supposed to be. Because all of the worlds are modeled after different countries. For a musical surprise. Or click on your bouquet to begin a new show. Is this supposed to be, like, China? Because we've got kind of Chinese architecture here. But there were palm trees. I don't think China really has palm trees. Oh, well. <laughs> I want to see four bug legs. All right, fine. <laughs> Nobody actually wants to see the frog performing. They just want to see the bugs performing. Now we need... All right. Tell you what. Nope. It's not even letting us have more than one type of bug on stage. Let's we'll bring the bring back the caterpillars. That 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 mis it's either a moth or a mosquito is never going to get to perform. Cause we would literally need to put like 15 of them on stage. I hope you guys love the famous spiders. <laughs> We're seeing them a lot. I promise we'll put the, the mosquitoes on stage at one point. The <laughs> this has to be like the Warner Fro Brothers frog, where they're just giving the people in the audience free beer in order to see this. That's the only explanation. Nobody would actually pay money to see this. There's a big crowd tonight. Break a frog's leg. Except for those four people in the seats that I don't have to attract every time. Florina's frog finger dance. Okay then. 
the chairs for a musical surprise or click on your bouquet to begin a new show. Lorena has nothing to say about that. I ever do the people in the audience. This is boring. Oh my god. <laughs> we need 35 of these guys. How many can we have on stage at once? Uh-oh. I think we've reached our cap. You have no- Uh-oh. Okay, so apparently you can only have a limited number of bugs on stage. Well, we may not actually end up getting to... Uh... Use the mosquito- uh, No, the- No, these are- these are mobs. Alright, well, let's start with the 35 then. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Alrighty, I hope you- I hope you're happy. Alright, for 27, okay, so now things are getting tricky because we can only put one group of bugs on stage, so you can't mix and match bugs in performances. Apparently they don't get along very well. But you also have a limit on the number of bugs that you can put down. So you need to basically find the lowest common denominator here. So for 27, the only... Out of all of the numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 we have, the only one that's evenly divisible into that is 3, because 3 times 9 equals 27. So we're gonna need 9 of these caterpillars in order to appease the 27 guy in the audience. He just really, really likes caterpillars. Come on. The hit detection on this is a little wonky at times. That's eight. Yep, we can only have nine bugs on stage at a time. Impressed? I hope so. Now we need seven of these spiders. In order to appease the 28. Now the dances are getting a little more choreographed. Okay, now we're gonna need... The nine spiders in order to appease that 36. Kind of weird that you can't mix and match the legs, but I guess then that would screw up with the multiplication, which they're actually, they're trying to teach you multiplication here. Will you just get on stage? Wow, you gotta just grab it. Seriously. Four times nine is 36. How elaborate. Alrighty, and for the next one, we're gonna need the grasshoppers again. We're gonna need nine of them in order to appease the 18. Because four is not divisible into- or 18 is not divisible by four. I hope nobody actually is looking for me to explain how to do multiplication. This is- this is supposed to be an entertaining video, not an edutating video. Look, variety! <laughs> There's a big crowd tonight. Break a frog's leg. Florina, you're on. Florina must be really bad because every time she performs, everyone except the four plants in the audience can't click keep leaving. The, for a musical surprise, or click the four in the brown seats are clearly plants show. that were paid to be there. All right. The only way we're gonna see these guys perform is if we do it six of them. Yeah. I think you have to wait until the sound effect is done playing before you can grab another. This is one of the more impressive dances, to be perfectly honest. All right, we need seven of these guys. I like that sound effect. 
Where have I heard that before? Probably a humongous entertainment game of some time. Of some point. Uh. Now we just need three of them. Yeah! This is how Hollywood actually works, right? <laughs> Not Hollywood, Broadway. Broadway's just a bunch of bugs dancing and people don't go to see them because they're actually good. They go to see them because there's an evenly divisible number of bug legs on stage. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Man, sometimes just, the game just does not want to let you grab the bugs. The audience members are really weird. I only want to see this many bug legs when I, there's an acceptable number of bug legs that can be on stage at any given time during a performance. And you're surpassing the accepted amount. <laughs> there we go. Everyone in the audience is happy for some weird reason. There's a big crowd tonight. Brick a frog's leg. Yeah. It's a full house tonight. You can croak, but don't choke. The music there sounded like people were screaming. Superstar. Um, Pop the Math uh, Explorer is kind of weird. Or keep clicking on the bouquets to choose your own dance. I think I've danced more than enough for today. Let's get out of here, Buzz. <laughs> Alright, Doctor Who, what you bringing me today? Ugh, a creepy plastic model of a caterpillar. That math souvenir may help us find the math magician. That's one math souvenir I could do without. Thank you very much. Okay, frog. <laughs> Very impressive. Yeah, uh, I don't really remember that world. I must have blocked it out of my mind because it was not that great. And honestly, it doesn't teach you about multiplication all that well. It and go to the next math land. Oh yeah, Maddie, you're here. You're kind of Maddie. You're kind of irrelevant to this game, to be perfectly honest. You haven't done a whole lot. <laughs> Maybe she really is helping out in Rita Rabbit ki Kindergarten at the same time as this, and is just like, oh no no, I've been here the whole time, Tally. <laughs> There's our math souvenir sneak peek at the next world, and it is... Ooh! It's Antarctica, apparently. Okay, Antarctica, I do vaguely remember an ice world, but if, if, I couldn't tell you what we do in it. So, that'll be an exciting surprise next time. That, that... <laughs> I could have done without that world. I feel like if you wanted to teach kids multiplication, there would have been a better, more exciting way to do it other than, hey, let's make these bugs dance on stage to appease the people in the audience who only want to see this many bug feet. <laughs> also, you can't mix and match bugs. Also, you can only have nine bugs on stage at a time. Actually, I guess the stage limit does make sense. It was just kind of strange, a little bizarre. Anyhow, that's it for this episode of Reader Rabbit's Math Journey. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Color Farty. Next time, apparently, we're going to... Actually, I don't think... Actually, yeah, yeah, we're going to Antarctica, the South Pole. Uh, because I'm pretty sure there are going to be penguins in that world, at least from, that's what I remember. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.